Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you an NFL Week 8 preview between the Indianapolis Colts and the Tennessee Titans. Now, let's look at the Colts in this game, fresh off a tough defeat against the New Orleans Saints. I'm not going to mention the score, but what they have to do offensively against the Tennessee Titans, they have to come in and get back to basics, burn the tape of last week. One thing that Curtis Painter does well, he does facilitate the football throughout the different targets, and that's how you keep a defense that is aggressive like Tennessee off balance. So I look for Painter to have a better game and get everyone involved, even if you have to use a passing game to set up the running game, because I know Tennessee will be all out to stop the run as they were gashed in a ground, on the ground game last week versus the Houston uh, Texans. So look for Indianapolis to come in and get the pass game going to set up the running attack. And that's how you can take advantage of an aggressive front for Tennessee. Now defensively, I would say play the run on the way to the quarterback. We're just going to forget the fact that Chris Johnson is not showing up this season. So play the run all the way to the quarterback. Get aggressive in your play in your uh, blitz. Per packages and getting after the quarterback you want to put Matt Hasselbeck under the rest all day the Titans uh, the Texans were able to do so against Tennessee so you can do the same with those defensive ends and Mathis and also Freeney so I would say turn up the pressure this week and play the run on the way to the quarterback and that's the way you get back to basics doing what you do well you excel at play action pass you also excel at getting to the quarterback so look for Freeney and Mathis to turn up the heat this week and hit people with that spin move in order to get back to what they do well now you look at Tennessee coming into this ball game yes Chris Johnson hasn't shown up this season but as the game plan for Tennessee I would say get back to basics do things to get Chris Johnson involved things that you can take advantage of his outstanding skill set you see he's a speed guy a perimeter guy I want to see a little bit more toss sweeps a little bit more pitches a little bit more counter plays to the outside or power plays off tackle to get him to the edge to use his speed to get him into a groove that's how you work the running game back into the, the forefront if a back is struggling you play to his strengths that's what they have to do to get Chris Johnson going also against the Indianapolis Colts look for Hasselbeck to get more on the on the move very athletic guy even in this old age he can still make plays on the run because you know sitting back there in a the pocket will be detrimental to his health and his success especially when you're going against Freeney and Mathis so I would say get Hasselbeck on the move a little bit more sprint outs not necessarily bootlegs but sprint outs to get him on the move defensively it's all about confusing Curtis Painter one thing that we found out last week he doesn't check off the different pass plays whatever play is called in the huddle that's the play they're going to run at the line of scrimmage confuse him get creative defensively and different zone blitzes and the Titans can have some success in getting turnovers and getting that extra possession that they need now let's look at some X factors in this ball game X factor for the Indianapolis Colts I say it's gonna have to be Dallas Clark this guy controls the middle of the defense if he can play up to par this week against the Titans that offense is going to look a lot better and Garcon and Reggie Wayne should have more opportunities on the outside. X Factor for the Tennessee Titans, once again, it has to be Chris Johnson, but he has to do something to get going. I would say the offensive coordinator as well, getting this guy going by creating different plays to take advantage of his skill set. I'm going with Tennessee in this ball game. I like what the Titans do offensively as far as matching up well against the Colts defense. I think playing at home, they want a bounce back game. The Colts want a bounce back game. So look for this to be one of those 17-14 type slugfests of two conference rivals, two division rivals. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. And listen to the Football Game Plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blogtalkradio.com slash footballgameplan.